Hello and welcome to this eighth episode of SQL for Data Analysis with me, James from Matador Software. Today, we're going to be looking at the having clause and building on what we've learned. So as we see here within my multi-line comment, why bother with the having clause? Well, the having clause was added um, because a where keyword cannot be used with aggregate functions, things like sum and count and average. Um, so you may ask, yeah, again, what is an aggregate function? Well, it calculates in a set of values and returns a single value. And we've looked at these before. So the average function takes a list of values and returns the average count, sum, whatever. We've used some of these before, but it's important to know what we're actually referring to by aggregate functions. But we're going to use this few minutes that we've got to actually take a look at some real examples, um, go through some errors, look at why we're getting them and how to use having well and properly and then we'll be able to build on things from there so what i'm going to do first is just look at you know select all for employee jobs see if we've got a link here for a join and um, we should do we want to see the job description present within that upper table the employees so we can go ahead and join that and then we'll look at some examples so we've just built on our joins from before some pretty simple stuff we were doing this last session in episode seven, so you should be pretty familiar if you watched that episode. If not, go back and have a look. Um, so I'm going to select actual columns from that join. So job description, the count of employee ID as employee count. Now you'll see the first error is one that we've seen before. Um, basically, it says the column jobs dot job description isn't um, contained in either an aggregate function. So we can fix that by just saying that we want to group the values that we want to look at by job description. And then that gives us the count by the specific job description, that title, and it'll give us a relevant number of employees. So the second issue we're gonna look at, and this is why having was brought in, because if I say where the count of employee ID um, is greater than two, you know, we would expect this to work. Just give us everything back that's greater than two. But you'll see that uh, the error says an aggregate may not appear um, in the where clause unless it's a subquery contained in a having clause, etc. So what we can do instead of using where, we can use having. So we'll correct that error by deleting the where and we could go and add the having clause, having count employee ID greater than two. And now it works exactly as we'd expect. It just returns those values where there's greater than two um, counts of employee ID per job description, that's what we're looking at. Again, we can order it um, by that employee count in descending order, so it'll give us highest to lowest. Perfect, so that's one example that we've worked through. We've looked at the errors and, and we'll go through another one now. All right, great. So in this example, we've decided that we want to join sales and stores so that we can get sales quantity by state. And we needed both of those tables to be joined to get that level of insight. Now, when we're building SQL queries out, you know, when they get more advanced, longer, um, in depth, you can think of it as Lego blocks where we take one piece at a time. But an error you're commonly going to see is if we try and do that again, with the join, we've got an aggregate function, so we need to group by. Um, so yeah, if you if you are going through the process and building these out, make sure that if you do have an aggregate function, in order not to see that error message, use your group by, and then we can go in. We've remembered not to use where, because we have an aggregate, we can use having, and the quantity is greater than five. So as long as we remember, um, in aggregate functions, it essentially replaces the function of the where keyword um, and it calculates a set of values and returns a scalar or single value. As usual, if you enjoyed this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.